Hello uh, everybody, this is Paul Hart and I'm a member at Pilgrim Lutheran Church in St. Paul and I had the privilege of being selected uh, by our church vestry as a voting member of the St. Paul Area Synod Assembly which was held at the end of May uh, just uh, about six weeks ago and uh, I'll just give you a few brief uh, highlights of uh, what it was like to uh, attend this uh, St. Paul uh, Synod Assembly. It was a great experience um, there were four or five uh, various sessions that were held over a two-day period of time. Uh, in the first plenary session, uh, there was the usual adoption of the rules and the agenda and that kind of thing. And the main piece of business, I would say, for the first plenary uh, session was the election of our synod bishop. And that was actually a very short process because there was a tremendous amount of uh, agreement among uh, nearly all of the voting members of the St. Paul Area Synod Assembly that uh, Peter Rognes, who has been our bishop for the last several years, should continue in that position. And um, so there was a, a lot of very positive feelings about uh, Bishop Rognes and uh, I, I just have to say, uh, personally observing him and seeing how he interacted with all of us in the assembly, he's, he's a really tremendous person and uh, a great uh, example of church leadership, I think. Um, so it was a great experience to be a part of that process. And also it was fun because our own uh, pastor, Wayne Weissenbuehler, actually came within 303 votes of being elected bishop of the St. Paul Area Synod. Uh, Wayne got one vote. We're not sure where he got that vote from, but uh, we know that he got one vote, which means that he came within 303 votes of uh, becoming the St. Paul Area uh, Bishop. Uh, Peter Rodnes uh, was elected uh, bishop by 304 votes. So congratulations, Wayne. You almost pulled out a squeaker there. So uh, great to tell you all about that first session. And uh, I'll tell you about a few more sessions that I attended. It was an excellent experience. And I hope that if any of you have any uh, interest in attending uh, the area assembly, uh, I strongly recommend that you do it. It's a great educational experience. So thank you.